not easy being me We'll wash your face and brush your hair We'll nag, 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 it's just not fair I'm horrid Henry So down with school, I'm gonna rule And when I'm king, I'll do my thing And then my life will be so sweet I'm horrid Henry Na, 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 nay The purple hand gang rules, okay Well, it's so easy being me I'm horrid Henry done your homework, haven't you, sweetie pie? Of course, Mum. Look, I knitted an egg cosy for Miss Lovely. Oh, that is lovely, Peter. Is it nearly bedtime? Yes, it is. Henry! Yes, homework! Homework! Now! Oh, you're just in time to watch Too Cool for School, Fluffy! Spells no, Henry. Not until you've done your homework. Watching TV on the computer isn't the same as watching TV. No TV, no computer. For a week. A month. A year. Henry, I'm still brushing my teeth. Hey, where's my gross class zero comics? That's right, Henry. I'll be looking after them for a while. Huh? Hey, that's my boombox. That's right, Henry. But how am I going to listen to my music if you take up my boombox? Oh, you've got my CDs too. That's right, Henry. I'll be looking after them for a while. Uh, that's not fair! Oh, it's so not fair. I can't watch TV. I can't go on the computer. Can't listen to music. Can't read my comics. All because I didn't do my homework. Oh, well, at least I've got you to talk to, Fang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mother and I have decided that we should look after Fang for the time being, too. Right, Henry? Not sure they'll think that was such a good idea. Morning, Henry. Oh, you brought Fang back? Uh, <clears throat> yes, sir. Uh, he can be a bit noisy at night, can't he? <laughs> Too. No, Henry, I'm afraid you can't. Now, it's time to rise and shine. We've got a busy day ahead. What are you doing, Henry? Painting my toenails, worm. What does it look like I'm doing? Oh, you're sorting out your gizlos. I'm not sure you're allowed to do that. What do you mean? Mom! Henry's sorting out his gizlos! Oh, can you believe this? Come on, Henry. You know you're not supposed to be doing that. Doing what? I'm just sorting out my gizmos. Precisely. I'll be looking after these for a while. You can polish these instead. Where's Henry? He's in the kitchen, polishing spoons. Really? Hmm. I think he's quite enjoying it. I haven't heard a peep out of him for ages. Hmm. Well, he's going to enjoy this. Henry! Ah, there you are. How's the spoon polishing going? Uh, fine, Dad. Can I have some of my stuff back now? Not just yet, Henry. I've got something very special for you. Thanks, Dad. Can I just have my boom box back? No, Henry. Come on, then. Aren't you going to open it? Oh, right. 
said it was something really special. It is special. It's a special spinner. Right. Can I maybe just have my gizmos back? Henry. Just the golden gizmos then? Henry! Oh, no, I've forgotten that Great Aunt Greta was coming round this afternoon. Oh, great. Yeah, great. Don't be horrid, Henry. What? How's the spoon polishing going, Henry? It's not. Now go away, smelly nappy baby. Ooh, that's a yo-yo. Yeah, I know that. Bet you can't get it to go. Yes, I can. Just watch me. See? You can't get it to go. Yes, I can. It's just broken. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Isn't it? Peter, what a big boy you are now. And Henrietta, how very lovely to see you too. Oh, your spoon polishing. How exciting. I used to love doing that when I was a girl. Why don't you run along, Peter, and go and do something teenagery? And here are some chocolates for you to eat while you're doing your teenagery things. Uh, uh thank you, Great Aunt Greta. I see you got a special spinner. Eh? Hey? Oh, yeah, Dad gave it to me. Doesn't work, though. Let me see. Oh? I... <laughs> Tornado Special Spinners Championship for nothing, you know. In those days, girls weren't allowed to enter the competition. Really? So, what did you do? Well, I just bundled my hair up under a cap and went for it. I don't think our Lady Gideantus had ever seen anything like it. <laughs> I bet they hadn't. Just because you're a girl, Henrietta, doesn't mean you can't be a special spinner too. Oh, uh, thank you, Great Aunt Greta. Come on, I'll teach you a few tricks before tea time. I'm going to get a yo-yo of my own. And what's yours called? Oh, this one's special. This one's called a special spinner. Cool. See you tomorrow. That was really good, Henry. Yes, Henry. It's so nice to see kids playing with traditional toys instead of just listening to loud music and playing on the computer. Listen, Henry, I'm making a documentary about this and I'd like you to be in it. Really? On the TV? Yes, on the TV. And you'll be paid for your contribution too, in yo-yos. Cool! It's a deal! Oh, it's time to watch me on TV! Oh, wonder where everyone is. Hey, everyone! Time to come and watch me on TV! It's starting! This program celebrates the power of traditional toys. Toys which don't rely on big thrills from a big screen. Everyone! Huh? Peter, didn't you hear me calling you? I'm on TV! Hmm? Are those my gizmos? I'm just sorting them. Really? Well, you can just stop sorting them and come downstairs right now! Where are Mum and Dad anyway? Um, I think they're in their bedroom. Well, they should be in the sitting room watching me on TV! Sorry, Henry. Didn't you hear me calling you? Uh, no, the, uh, music was too loud. And I was, um, reading the latest Gross Class Zero comic. They're really good, Henry. Yeah, I know. Now, are you going to come and watch me on TV or not? In a minute. I just want to finish this story. <laughs> Parents. 
And so we can see from this fine young performer that traditional toys can bring the same pleasure as computer games, comics, and loud music, and in some cases, may even replace them. Well done, Henry! I knew it was worth depriving you of those things for a while. 